Dirty Trucking. And this video today is going to be about wasted time as a trucker. Today is the 8th and it's been exactly 30 days I've been sitting around here not working, haven't got any employment, plenty of leads, plenty of possibilities, but none of them seems to be panning out. Be credible, real, or actually trying to get me to work. And wasted time as a trucker, it's time you're not making money. In 30 days from the time I was notified that I was let go from that previous job, three weeks have went by. That is three weeks of money I could have made working somewhere. Three weeks of income I could have generated for myself. Three weeks of productivity. Three weeks of doing something beneficial, beneficial, instead of sitting up in an apartment all week. Because when your money run out, that's what you end up doing. Your uh, outings is limited. Uh, your shopping is limited. What you do becomes limited. And that is all contributed to lack of income. You can't sit at home withdrawing, paying out. And there's nothing else coming in. And you know, money goes fast. These weeks goes by fast. I just paid the bulk of my money out on the first of my rent. It's already the eighth of the month. Then it'll be in the next week, next week. Then it'll be time for rent again. And I sit here and think about those three weeks that went by. The money I could have generated as a trucker somewhere, doing something productive. Even as a Lyft driver, if I had a car, that was the downfall with Lyft. Uh, wasting time pursuing something that was never going to get started. That was one of my problems. And that's a problem that contributes to wasted time. Pursuing something that the end result of it is you're never going to get started. You find out it was a waste of time or either what was involved in getting started didn't pan out. Or you had a problem getting access to equipment or what you needed to get started. That all causes a waste of time. I would love to be able to sit here in this apartment and not do nothing every day. This has been the, the 30 days, even though I have not generated any income, has been the most relaxing days I've ever had until I start my job pursuit again dealing with others that I have to, third parties that I have to get in contact with to get something that I need to pursue the job I'm, I'm trying to pursue. Like Lyft. They outsource their phone calls here. 
All these phone calls are being outsourced. And the people that have been outsourced to is not resolving the issues when I have to call and complain about something. This cybercrime stuff that I'm dealing with, the hacking of my phone, is all an interference and deterrence to keep me from being unemployed, to keep me from being employed. Because they want me unemployed. What Horizon Freight did to me, that was the most stupidest decision I've ever heard somebody make outside of what U.S. Express did to me. Let me go because I was unhappy. You decided I was unhappy. I could be unhappy all day. As long as I'm performing my job duties and my functions, you have nothing to say. Me running a business when you lease purchase, you're running a business. And there's a certain kind of money you try to make running a business. And you don't want to sign on to a company that fills your head with all these numbers that you can make. And then all of a sudden you see you can't make it. You're there and you can't make it. Then you start to complain. Then they start forcing you to do a stuff that's outside of your contract, really. And should be company drivers. I don't want to do shags. I'm long haul. I do short hauls, every, you know, short hauls and long hauls, as long as the money add up at the end. But when you decide to make decisions for me, that's where we have a problem. You made a decision for me that ended my employment. You made a decision to end my employment. A complete waste of time. Though at that job, I was sitting around, I was coming in and not getting work, sitting up there in the yard on the truck, running the truck for hours, just burning diesel, waiting for the dispatcher to say, hey, I got you something. Who wants to do that? But then you turn around and say, you expect me to work five days. You expect me to be at work every day. Well, I expect you to get me work when I'm there every day. I do my job. I don't need nobody telling me how to do my job. Because I know how to do my job as a trucker. I've been doing it for a long time. But when you make these, these unfounded decisions to let me go, to put me back in an unemployment position. Now I'm sitting up here. This is wasted time. When I tried to get with Uber, I thought I was that was something I'd be able to do. Okay. I'm trying to make the decision if I still want to be a truck or not. I really want to come out of this. I want to get out of it because it's too stressful. It's just too much nonsense going on, and it just continuing from company to company, and I really don't want to be bothered with it. You got the wrong people making decisions in this industry. It's not benefiting the drivers. You're losing drivers. The industry is going to crap. Nobody is really excited to be a truck driver anymore, except somebody new who's never been in the industry. But then when they get in the industry and the industry starts revealing itself to you, through your time out there over the road, then you start realizing, hey, I don't want to be bothered with this. I'm leaving my home, staying out there over the road, missing my family, paying rent for a residence I'm not at. I can't enjoy my home. I got to sleep in the back of the truck. I got to live on the back of the truck. To get out here and not make the money I should be making for doing this, the length of time I'm with my home, it, it's, it's, you know, I have to do this to generate income. And then, after all the problems you that arise from that, you at the end of the day, you sit around and wonder, why the hell am I doing this? I could be at home every day. Summertime is coming. I like 
like being at home now. OTR and the nonsense that happened to me out there forced me off the road. That was a waste of my time. I enjoyed the venture. I enjoy being a trucker. I love running the highway. I love trucks. I love being on the motherfuckers. I love everything about trucking except who I have to deal with to make me money. And that's what happened to me. Destroyed my business through sabotage. Got to these companies want to play games. Uh, you started starving me out. Uh, uh, then you started making decisions to let me go. Then you started doing stuff to get me upset so you can say, turn around and say, you have to let me go. I don't want to be bothered with that. I don't need nobody employing me to do that. Why would you hire somebody and then let your workers that you employed Start doing something to this individual on purpose to make them upset so they can look like they're some type of irate worker, ain't a, uh, a disruption to the business, uh, you're not a good fit for the company. So you can turn around and let them go when it was your workers doing this. Why would you hire somebody and put them through that? You know, trucking is is, is an industry that has the most highest, highest turnover rate. And it is because of the industry. It's because of who's running the industry. It is because of the lies and the problems and the bad equipment and the money that you were looking to generate in the industry. I'm not going to say all of the trucking jobs are bad. They weren't bad when I got there. It was what you started doing after I got there. It seems like every job I go to, these same individuals are already in place that start doing this stuff or making this nonsense happen to where I end up where I am now, unemployed. And if you ain't already there, I notice after I get there, it's all of a sudden a new hired payroll. It's always certain individuals in roles that end up being new hires right after I got there. And I noticed that. Here when I was being local, it was, it was, it was the payroll. It's always something about payroll. And all of this was reflecting back to what happened to me at Chrysler. It was the payroll lady whose responsibility it was to continue my benefits while I was still off my job. And had she done that, I wouldn't have quit. But she didn't. So you took that nonsense that happened to me out at, at Warren Truck Plant and you put it over in my trucking and you started assuming the roles of these individuals there that resulted in me leaving that company, quitting off of a lie they told. Wasted fucking time. I've been sitting here 30 days wasting time while somebody is playing games with my phone Somebody seems to be like they directing me on what employment to take. Somebody that already seems to have advanced knowledge of what employment I'm looking for. Like when I was putting in for Lyft and Uber. All of a sudden this guy gets on there. You're not going to be an Uber driver. You're not going to be a Lyft driver. You're going to start getting complaints. Why would you assume I'm going to get complaints? I was a bus driver and the best at it. I didn't have complaints as a bus driver. I don't get complaints, but I do have knowledge of these individuals that like to generate fake, fake complaints. Would like to go around people and cause things so they can call a company and complain. Like what happened when I was at their rail yard. That lady uh, decides she wanted to insult my gender 
by calling me a man over the phone. Bitch, do I look like a goddamn man? No. And we on the phone. And you knew I was a female because you called my name. But this has been wasted time. What does wasted time do for you? When you waste time, you don't generate money. When you waste time, that's a waste of productive production and being a productive person. Your time is wasted. I don't have a bank account full of money to sit up here at home. Otherwise, I'd be on here saying, I ain't looking for no damn job. Well, I'm done with trucking. Had I, if they had terminated me at the beginning of that month on the 7th, not when I terminated, let me go, he said, for business purposes. Let me correct that. Let me go for business purposes due to lack of freight. Had that company not done that, I would have been able to get in some more weeks of money and have my money stacked. But they don't never do it when it's convenient, when you already prepared for it. They seem to do it at the worst moment, the worst time. A time when you really didn't need that to happen. You let me go on the 7th. I just paid my rent for that month on the 1st. Six days later, I get let go. But on the 6th, the truck was put in the shop. On the 7th, I'm out buying what I needed for work. And while I'm out there at that mall, Oakland Mall, shopping for what I needed for work, I get a call from safety. Telling me I'm being let go for business purposes. He made that decision. Safety did. This is not human resources calling me. This was safety. And the only time I ever know safety to let a driver go is for safety reasons. I wasn't an unsafe driver. I wasn't out there having accidents. And it was very unfortunate that they was able to pull me in for a headlight out. Out of all my years driving. That mysteriously happened. Out of all my years of a professional driver. Riding around here priding myself on. I don't want to be bothered with that. I don't want to be dead in citation. I don't even want them pulling me in. But sometimes that was unavoidable because I was working for companies I didn't know had been flagged. And when you sign on with them, you're wondering why you're getting pulled in all the time. Even though it ain't nothing wrong. It's because of the company you signed on to. They have been flagged. So now they're looking for every truck with that, sign, that logo on it. They're going to pull them in. All these years I've been riding around right here. Somebody that complained about safety, uh, getting the equipment, making sure your equipment is repaired. You, you get me for a, a headlight out that mysteriously happened on a load in an area that they were trying to get me to that I refused to go to because the money was not worth driving that far in the first place. So the day wasn't set up. It was. But look what you did. Then after that, I'm let go from my job. Prior to that happening, I remember getting a lift, an uh, Uber driver to take me to work. This is prior to all this happening before I, right before I put the truck in the shop. Me and this guy talking, another foreign guy talking, talking about he used to be. It's always these foreign guys picking me up as Ubers and Lyft drivers. There's a lot of them out there doing Uber and Lyft. I get picked, there's a lot of them. I end up in their cars, foreign drivers. I'm, I'm dealing with them on the phone. I'm dealing with them as a resolution for a problem I'll have because they outsource to. And then now I got to deal with you, 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 you Uber drivers. I don't have no problem with you being foreign. But the problem I'm having now, why is it that I'm connected and surrounded by so many that's foreign? And I'm in the United States. My phone problems, you outsourced the call, they were foreign. But to get back to the story, this guy was foreign. 
Tells me he used to be a truck driver. Most of the Uber drivers I get in the car with say they were truck drivers or want to be truck drivers. And these big foreign guys want to get off over into it. This guy said he was a truck driver. Said he got terminated because he got a ticket for a headlight out. Hmm. I said, they shouldn't have fired you for that. I'm like, not unless you got a bad record or something like that. You just one of those drivers that just, just got a shitload of points and you just, it just riding around here, ain't doing shit and keeping your equipment, uh, you ain't get keeping your equipment up to date. Unless you want it down. That's no reason to terminate nobody. But he did. He was terminated, he said. And that's why he's out here driving Uber. But right after that, I get let go. For a reason I've never heard of before in my life. Wasted time. Dealing with individuals that you chose to employ to handle resolutions, to employ, to get things going. And they didn't do any of their job functions. Otherwise, had they done it, if the program that Uber is partnering with these rental companies here, that, that's a really don't want it because it's not my business. Uber is not my business. But far as your partnership program you have here in Michigan with Avis and Hertz, that was a bad business move because they don't have cars. They never have cars. And then these employees that work at these establishments, these rental car companies, were getting on the phone, luring people who knew, they knew was a desperate need of a car. You know how hurtful that is? To know you need for somebody on the other end that knew you needed work and for you to get back to work that you needed this vehicle to sit up there and make you believe they had a car for you sending you a notification that your car is here come pick your car up by a certain time that you chose and then to get you there at that establishment and get you up to the counter and they come out there and tell you we're sorry we have no cars I tried to contact you but they were lying they didn't have they didn't try to contact me you know how hurtful that is? Do you know how hurtful it was? To, it is for me to walk around here all these years knowing that my employer, Warren Truck Plant, who was Daimler Chrysler then, when that mess happened to me, sit up there and lied on me and caused my life to be like this. I wasn't in debt like this. I didn't have no debt. I wasn't thinking about trucking. I was a homeowner, had a car, living a nice life. Had my own house. I didn't live in no apartments. But the employer did it. Wasted time. And now every employer is doing it. It's like I'm some walking game. It's like when I go sign an employment contract or I sign a lease at my apartment building. It's like I'm signing away or giving them the right to play some stupid ass game. And I'm sick of it. You put me in this position. You got me in all this debt. And you didn't get me any money to get out of it. But yet you kept playing this game. You kept uh, doing this stuff to me to keep me that every so often I'm unemployed. Uh, you going back in time. And you always having me talk to people with the same names of individuals that I had to deal with at one truck plant. Uh, one of the names is Rebecca. Rebecca was in human re re it's labor relations. But out here in life dealing with employment. I'm dealing with people with these same names. Rebecca. Or names of ex-boyfriends. Or names of friends or people I knew. They get on my social media, on my YouTube. With the same names. Why is that? Because it's some damn game. A game that shouldn't be going on. A game that has wasted my time. A game that has got me in debt. A game that has prevented me from achieving what I wanted to be. Which is a boss. A business owner. And being rich. And when you want to be those things, you can't be involved with people who's not doing that. Who's talking against that. 
who's wasting time preventing you from being that. And that's what's happening to me. You keep connecting me to people who's preventing me from doing and achieving what I'm trying to be because they don't want me to be. And I'm sick of that. How in the world did you pick me for this? Wasted time. I'm sitting up here in my apartment right now making a video I don't get paid for. I've been sitting here 30 days. I done spent up all my money. I don't even have money really to go to the grocery store. Buying Raymond noodles now. Because I ain't got no money. Being lured to certain employment, working for certain people, is a certain type of trucking I like. I don't like dedicated doing the same thing every day. You just go in the same place every day. I don't like that. That's why I like containers. Because you're not at the same place all the time. I like variety. Even when I was bus driving, I like to switch routes. I'm not a dedicated person. But you lure me to jobs doing the opposite of what I wanted to do. If I was an Uber driver, I would be happy right now. I could have had three weeks of income. May not be the income I was looking for, but at least I would have been doing something productive in the 30 days I was sitting around here. Or at least uh, I didn't start looking for the get over in that tool. I think it was the following week after they had let me go. I got my final check on the 10th. By the end, the week was already out because they let me go. I think that was on a Tuesday. Got my final check on that Friday. So the weekend here. So I didn't finally start making a decision what I was going to do and just get out of the truck until that following week. Then I wasted a week with Lyft. Wasted time with Uber. Wasted time with job searches. You employ people that wastes people's time. You employ people who can't get the job done who don't get the job done, and who is a hindrance to others who are trying to get the job done. And I don't like my time being wasted. I don't like being involved with individuals who wasted my time. I don't like being involved in a game that is doing nothing but waste my time. You got me sitting up here with no income for what? To watch how I function? To watch how I survive? I am tired of being homeless because of you and this game. A game that uh, you were supposed to give me money if I was supposed to be involved in this game. If I'm playing some game, it's got to be a benefit of this game. Where's the money? I'm not winning no lottery. I've stopped gambling. And I've stopped gambling and still don't have no money. I don't play the lottery that much. And when I do, I don't win. I'm not winning nothing. But yet, I'm watching all these other people with miraculous million dollar wins all over. I'm not winning no money. You involved me in a game that was beneficial to somebody else. They getting the money. But yet, you still coming in here messing with me. How come they can't generate their money on their own without you involving me, playing a game with me? Wasted time. You employ people that does nothing but waste time. You're not contributing to the company. You are hindrance to the company. Because people are partnering with you to provide things and you can't provide them. Then you got these employees that you employ playing games. And I hate people who fucking waste my time. It's dirty trucking. Talking about wasted time. Still here again. This is the eighth. I'm sitting at home. No employment. Because the employment I was looking for, this guy is out on vacation I didn't know about. And then somebody told me I was hating on him. I'm not hating on him. I thought this was immediate employment. Now, my time is being wasted. So they can go take their wonderful vacation, enjoy their Easter holiday. While Horizon Freight have me sitting up here, I can't enjoy my Easter holiday. I can't take no vacation. This year, I was planning my vacation. You turn around and let me go. I'm trying to get my debt straight. But every time I turn around or start thinking about that, I end up unemployed. This is what I deal with. Wasted time. 
30 days sitting up here doing absolutely nothing, scrolling jobs that's fake, dealing with people that's hindering me, playing games on the phone. People set me up for stuff that's other than employment. Don't use my employment search. This is not a dating app. I don't need you hooking me up with nobody. Don't tell me who to date. Don't tell me who to be involved with. I'm a trucker. I don't need your assistance in that. You ain't even supposed to be doing that. Luring me out to certain places. Like you playing some matchmaker. You won't get paid for that. And I don't want to be involved in that. Going to these jobs that I can deal with harassment. Turning around being unemployed all the time. You don't do nothing but waste time. And you need to get your ass out of here. Because all you do is waste time. Can't nobody accomplish nothing from people who wasting time. And people who wasting people's time need to get the hell out of here. Go find your own area to operate where other people like-minded like you that like wasting time can go over there and waste each other time. Don't waste my time. This dirty trucking. Talking about wasting time. Sitting up here doing nothing. Wasting time. Scrolling jobs that I really don't want to do. And the stuff I want to do, you keep preventing me from doing. All this money I could have made in 30 days. Wasted time.